What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the 7 Minute Squad series on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. So, I thought I'd just let you guys know, um, there's going to be no concept squads in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team 7 Minute Squads. Um, because I tried it out last episode and I did it because I had so many comments pre recently about how I should just try it out and see what people think. And I tried it out and the whole response was... Jack, you've ruined your only, um, well, you've ruined your series, and basically, we think it's better without concept squads. So, that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be using concept squads at all. Um, so, apologies if you liked it, but it was a very, very small percentage that actually liked the concept squads. Um, so, we're going to be going back to normal, okay? Um, and that is going to be, you know, the best way to go about things. So, if you're, gonna, if you're looking to buy any FIFA 15 coins, guys, go and check out the FIFA shop UK in the description down below and use the discount code. Jack54HD for 5% off your order. So, we're going to go into the store now and open some packs. We're probably going to use the first player that pops up or whatever. And then we're going to also go ahead and get a player off the transfer market as well. So, we managed to get Lacazette in this first pack. Okay. Um, but we're going to go with this guy, Obeliz, because we've used Lacazette pretty recently. And it would just be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Um, so, we are now going to go ahead and... Well, we'll just store, store all of that in the club. But yeah, we're going to be using Obeliz um, for the right wing spot in our team. Um, we will buy another player as well off the transfer market. So, let's put the minute... Okay, actually no. Let's just not do that and then just make it gold. We're going to buy the third player off the second page, okay? Third player off the second page is 1, 2, 3, Paulinho. All right, not too bad. Um, we'll buy him right now. Assign. Quickly. Store in the club. There we go. Lovely stuff. All right, then. Let's go ahead and get this team sorted out. Okay, transfer market. Um, I don't know what formation I'm going to be using yet, so I'm basically just going to go through what what options I have for the team and then make a decision on the formation. So the timer is going to start in 3, 2, 1. There we go. The timer has started. First player we're going to go and buy. I already know. where It's from the Bundesliga, and you guys probably know as well. Um, for Dortmund. Okay. And it's going to be, well, he's going to be a centre attacking mid. And it is going to be Mkhitaryan. Okay, that's not a bad player to put into the team straight away. 2,700 coins, whatever. That's fine. Um, I think he's going to be a fairly decent player for us. He should be. He's got nice stats on his card. And I think, you know, um, he's, one, he's one which I haven't used yet on FIFA. Well, FIFA 15 anyway. So, we're going to go to the Russian League again. Go to Spartak Moscow. Check out their strikers that we could include. Um... Okay, so there is this guy, Dizuba, um, but I think I'm going to go with, with this guy because the main reason is because he gets a perfect chemistry link, chemistry link, and if I was to buy him, then I wouldn't really get a good chemistry link at all, would I? So, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to buy a Mov... I can't pronounce his name. I do apologise. And does this guy have an inform? Uh, I don't think he does. I was. It must have been last FIFA. I think it must have been last FIFA. Yeah. Right then, we're gonna buy him now. We're gonna be using the four-three-three fourth variation because that's literally the only formation which I could use with this team and the players that I've got. Um, I suppose so. Now, now where do I go? Okay. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and buy. Um. Now, we can go ahead and go to the left wing spot. Let's go left wing. Barclays Premier League. Chelsea. Let's do that. Right, there we go. Uh, and, whoa, 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 whoa. See, I would actually really like to use this guy. Hazard. Hmm. Now, we're going to have to, we're going to have to, oh, shit, William isn't a left wing anymore, is he? Fuck. I've been thinking Williams a left winger, but he's not anymore. Right, damn it. There's no left winger. That's Brazilian. Shit. That's bad news, isn't it? That is bad news. Okay, so we're going to have to go now. Spurs. Spurs left winger and see who they have. There's, they do have Ericsson. Um, I know that for a fact. So I think we should just buy Ericsson. Let's just do that. He's actually a really, I do actually quite like using him in that left wing role. I think he's fairly decent and useful in that position. Um, so if we go ahead and buy him, 
And then left back, we can go ahead and buy literally anyone from the Barclays Premier League. But actually, we're going to buy a centre-back first from Spurs. Now, I need to think about what I'm going to be doing with the other half, of, other side of my team. Because if we bought someone like, I don't know, um, yeah, this is actually going to be quite difficult. This is going to be very difficult, actually. Uh, I don't really know where to go, to be honest. Left back. Um, let me have a think. Let me have a think. Well, there's not going to be... There's not going to be any... Damn, what is going on? What is going on? Okay, we're going we're gonna to quickly... Not change what we're going to do, but we're going to go into the Bundesliga and just try and do this side of the team first before we go into that side. Because at the end of the day, it should be pretty... Right, it should be pretty simple. Okay, we're going to go ahead and buy Sahin um, for 950 coins for that right centre mid spot. I think that would be pretty decent. And then we could go ahead and move into the centre-back spot quickly. Um, Bundesliga, it doesn't have to be a Brescia Dortmund player. It does not have to be a Brescia Dortmund player. Centre-back, okay, we could go ahead. Benatia would be a really, really good player to go ahead and buy. A really, really good player. So, I think we're going to, yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy Benatia. Just trying to think, though. Yeah, chemistry is absolutely fine at the moment. Now, right-back is going to have to be, it has to be, a Bayern Munich player, um, otherwise we won't get full chemistry. So I'm going to go ahead and buy Rafinha. I don't think we need to, well, Lahm's actually a CDM this year, isn't he, I think. So we definitely can't go ahead and buy him. Yeah, so we'll, we'll buy Rafinha for that right back spot. So, okay, now this is where I need to have a think about what I'm going to be doing. Uh, is there an Argentinian player here? In well, an Argentinian goalkeeper. No, there's not. Is there a Belgian goalkeeper? Apparently, there is. Okay, we can't buy him. I'm sorry, we can't buy him. Uh, there's not going to be a French goalkeeper, is there? Nope. Shit. Shit a brick. Shit a brick. Okay. Um. Well, what goalkeepers are there that, that we could use? Hold on. What goalkeepers are there? Okay, so they're mainly Brazilian. That's not very helpful, is it? Mainly, mainly Brazilian goalkeepers. I mean, German goalkeepers, sorry. Don't know why I was saying Brazilian. Um, so it looks like we might have to just go ahead and... Well, it, it's, it's looking like we're going to have to... Oh, I don't want to buy thing for that much. I'm not buying Leno. Okay, it looks like we're going to go ahead and buy... Um, Whatever his name is, you guys are probably shouting at me right now, why aren't you saying it? But my mind is just going blank, I do apologise. Um, we're going to buy Murtasaka, sorry, that is who I'm trying to get out. Um, yeah, Murtasaka for the centre-back spot. So we've got him, now we need to go to Barclays Premier League quickly. Barclays Premier League, centre-back. Well, we should have put it to Germany. German... Centre back, hoof. No, we're gonna put, we're gonna use Murtasaka. Okay, I think what I've learned a lot about FIFA this year is that players which actually have slow pace stats on their card aren't actually that slow in game when they get going. So we're gonna try and chance that and see if that's true. Right? Um, are we gonna buy Gibbs? We've got a little bit of time. We've got ten seconds to think. Is it gonna get full chemistry? If I don't. Um, no, we can actually buy anyone. Okay, so we're going to buy Moreno. I know I haven't bought him yet, but we're going to buy Moreno. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that is, there is the timer. I think, yeah, we'll just buy Moreno for 5,900 coins. That's fine. No, shit. Okay, I didn't say that. I didn't say we're going to buy Moreno. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Why have I done this to myself? Why? Why? Okay, we're not going to buy Moreno. <laughs> we're going to buy an Arsenal left back because we need to buy an Arsenal left back and that is going to be Kieran Gibbs. Okay, now the team's done. Apologies for that. I'll be back in a second, guys, once the team is in the starting 11. Hey, guys, so this is the finished team. As you can see here in gold, we've got Vindenfeller, the two centre-backs. We've got Mertesacker and also Benatia. 
Right back, we've got Rafinha. Left back, we've got Kieran Gibbs. Three centre mids, where we've got Paulinho at the centre mid spot. Mkhitaryan at the centre to mid spot. Centre mid, on the right hand side, we've got Sahin. Right wing, we've got Ob... Oz oh, I, I can't pronounce the name, sorry. Um, and then at the strike spot, we've got M Mavoisian. Left wing, we've got Ericsson. So, I think that looks like a pretty cool team, and it does get full chemistry. Every single player gets either 9 chemistry or 10 chemistry. Um, so, yeah, guys, we're going to move into a game now. Hopefully, we can play well, and hopefully, this team delivers. So, this is our opponent. He has got Abel Hernandez. He has got uh, Coutinho, Henderson. Quite a pretty well, pretty good team, to be fair. Um, so, this is going to be fairly difficult, I think. You know, usually when someone includes silver players in their team... They're usually quite well handicapped. Um, I know there may be no such thing in FIFA, but silver players just tend to usually play better when they're playing with gold players. That's just from my experience. So, yeah, um, I can expect his silver players to be very overpowered and play very well, to be fair. Um, right, Paulinho, here we go. Get off, Coutinho. Oh, no, that's dreadful. <laughs> that is absolutely dread. No, he's been sent off as well. Oh my god, that is the worst challenge and attempt ever. Why did I go to ground there? Go on, stay in. Mm. Damn it, damn it. Well, Barini's put him ahead. Um, I'm sure we can get back into this match, lads. I'm gonna have to make a little change though at the back to try and I don't know who I'd bring on the back, bring in at the back. Maybe oh, Paulinho or I really don't know what we're gonna do actually. I do not know. We might have to. We're going to change to a three at the back formation. That's literally the only thing we can do. Out. Don't. Okay. Well, that is an amazing, amazing start to this match. Two 0 down within 16 minutes, and we also have a red card, which means we have one less player on the pitch. Love that. I absolutely love that. Come on then, let's get at least a constant penalty, surely, surely there's got to be a penalty. Come on, come on, just go in. Get in. Mkhitaryan with the consolation goal in the 30th minute and uh, usually consolation goals come usually in probably the last few minutes. Um, so to get a consolation goal in the 30th minute, I must be doing something uh, <laughs> very wrong. I'm liking that a lot. Wow, really? We're going to fucking do that. I don't care. We are going to do that. I do not care. Whatever. He had so much luck in the first half that that was just ridiculous. So we had to do a little pass across the goal. Don't. Keeper come out. I thought I'd missed it. Well, that is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, then please be sure to leave a like. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I think I actually could have won that match if I didn't get someone sent off in the 16th minute. I thought it was absolutely ridiculous how pace just controls the game, especially when you have Abel Hernandez up top when he doesn't really have any good shooting or any other good stats apart from his pace, but he ran right around me and was able to score ridiculous amounts of goals. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought on the team and peace.